In this video, I will show you how to integrate transition animations in Jitma Compose navigation. And before we get started, I have this simple setup. So we have screen A and we have a button here, go to B. When we click on that, we will land in a screen B. If you are new to Jitma Compose navigation, then I've already made a video about that. You can go ahead and watch it. It's inside my Jitma Compose playlist and I will link it in the description of this video. And if you just want to get this initial project, you'll also find the link to my repository. You can just clone that and then you can follow up with this tutorial. Okay, so as you can see, this is our nav host. We are hosting two screens, screen A and screen B. And in Android, we have four types of transitions. Uh, if we just go here and see all of the arguments that we can send, as you can see, the first transition we have is the enter transition. And this one is applied when navigating to the screen. So when you enter a screen, this transition will be called. So if we click on uh, go to B, this transition will be called for screen B here. And the other type or the next transition we have is called exit transition. And this one is applied when you leave the screen. So let's get back to A. If we click go to B, then this transition will be called for screen A. And the next transition we have is pop enter transition. And this one is applied when we pop the back stack and enter the screen. So we are now in screen B. If we click back to A, then we pop the back stack and we enter screen A. So pop enter transition will be called. And the last transition we have is pop exit transition and this one is applied when we pop in the stack and exit in the screen. Let's click go to B and now we want to pop the stack. So we can either click on here or click on the back button. So when we pop the stack, screen B uh, will be popped from the stack. So pop exit transition will be called for this screen B. Now by default, you can notice that there is a default transition we have, which is the fade in, fade out transition, as you can see. But we can just override these transitions and, and add our own. So let me show you how to do that. In the composable function, go here and now we want to implement a transition for screen A. Now again, let's go back to screen A. When we click to go to B, then the exit transition will be called for screen A because we are exiting that screen. And now we can just specify the transition we want. Most of the time you would just use slide in and slide out of container. So since we are calling exit transition, then we want to call exit um, out of container. And now you want to specify the direction of the sliding. So we can say slide direction. Uh, we want to make this go from right to left. So here we just specify left and uh, we can here define animation spec. So the animation spec here basically allows you to configure how the animation looks like. So you either have a tween or you have a spring. I'm not going to cover the details of that uh, because I already have a video about the animation in Jitbal Compose. But at the end, tween and spring just specifies the velocity and how the animation uh, acts. So let's just pass tween, which is the most common one. And here you can specify the duration. So that is just how long it's going to take to apply this transition. So let's just pass one second here just to be able to see, to see that. Okay, so that's it for this one. Now let's launch the app and click go to B. As you can see, we had that sliding from right to left, but that only applied for screen A. Now we want to add transition, same transition to screen B. So when we click go to B, uh, what will be called for screen B is enter transition because we are entering that screen. And here we can just apply slide into container transition. And again, we want to specify uh, the slide direction. So we can say slide direction. We want to push that from the right to the left. And here we just kind of going to uh, copy and paste this tween with one second. Let's launch the app again now. And click on go to B. As you can see, we had this nice transition. Now let's implement the transitions when we pop the stack. So when we pop the stack from screen B, what will be called for screen A is pop enter transition because we pop the stack and we enter screen A. So here what we want to do is slide in container. So here we want to show it from uh, left to right. So we can say slide direction right. 
and we can also pass tween of 1000 and what will be called for screen B is pop exit transition because we pop in the stack and we exiting screen B so here we can say slide out of container and here we can pass slide direction and we can pass right and finally it's pass tween of 1000 let's launch the app let's click on go to B click on back to A so as you can see here is your transition other directions here so you have up and down so to show you that let's for example call up here when we enter screen B so this will basically show it from the bottom to the top as you can see uh, you can play around with that and test it on your own that is not the only thing you can do with transitions you can just merge between two transitions you can say plus fade in or here we can uh, pass fade out and here we can pass fade in so yeah you can pass uh, you can merge between two transitions or more and if you want to see all the transitions that are available in jetpack compose you can search about that so let's do that let's search compose transition animation maybe here and let's click on here here are the different transitions you have the enter transition here the exit transition in this column so you can just preview that and choose the one you want according to your needs and that's it for this video in the next video i'll show you how to pass arguments between your destinations in jetpack compose navigation thank you so much for watching i wish you a great day and catch you in the next video